Hey Taurus, my name is Crystal. I'm going to just be, I guess, pulling some cards and seeing where I get for you guys or what I get for you guys. I'm not doing a specific spread. Um, just remember these readings are general readings, so if all parts don't make sense for you, that's okay. It just means there's somebody else that needs to hear that message. It doesn't all have to resonate for you, okay? Remember also, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe, and that'll help other people to be able to see. Um my videos and I'll be able to help more people please please and thank you but anyway all right so you got the ace of swords the empress the ten of pentacles justice the hero fit in the world okay right now you are overcoming something like a whole bunch of stuff um the empress okay so maybe this was within a long-term situation so maybe a long-term family situation a long-term career situation job maybe living somewhere for a long time i feel like this is um what this is involving in okay so whatever long-term situation this is about only you would know um <clears throat> it could be a long friend long-term friend family members love uh jobs right okay so the empress is telling me that you need to focus on you um and take all that creativity, all the thoughts that you have, and put it to good use. The Ace of Swords tells me you've, like, overcame a whole bunch of, like, battles and stuff like that. And you made it through. You've grown from it. And also, now you're, you're feeling a little bit more on top of things. One second. My dog. Sorry. My dog. Um, but I feel like you're coming out over top of things. Like, you know, justice is about to be served or whatever um, this means for you. Or just means that balance is um, headed your way. Okay? It's like maybe things were not so even for you within this long-term situation. And I feel like you had to worry about yourself in this case. Okay? Um, I don't know what was working out for you. But I feel like all these cards are like so high. First of all, you have four... Uh, major Arcana, then an Ace, and then the Ten of Pentacles. There's an ending of something going on here, but then you have a new start, and you're going to, like, conquer everything. The Hierophant tells me that right now you might need to talk to somebody about this. This could be financial problems or, or a financial thing that you might need to have some kind of, like, um, information or guidance or advice from somebody. And with the world, I do feel like this is the ending of a cycle and then and the beginning of something new. So I'm going to see what these cards are meaning because I'm not totally sure, like, what is ending. Learning something new. The High Priestess, the Magician, and the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> Maybe this is a new job. You're leaving an old job and going to something new. Maybe you're leaving an old house and, find, you know, going to some place new, like a new, um, like, city, state, something like this, um, because you weren't happy where you were at in the first place. Um, you might be waiting on paperwork or something like this. She's, like, holding her paperwork and not allowing everybody to see it so nobody knows what's in it. <clears throat> so you may be feeling like somebody's hiding something from you. <clears throat> I need a water. <clears throat> My throat is like so itchy today. There's so many allergies. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. This is like um, you learning something new. This is also good news. Um regarding some type of message that is coming in it could be from like an apartment that you put out um a new job um some type of new thing that you're waiting on um the results so it's like good news um uh, within these results that you are waiting on that you don't know anything about so i feel like you're you're worried about maybe like not passing a test or not getting this new job not getting this new apartment or this I don't feel like it's love, but it could be a new love, okay? So maybe you're worried about not being able to get to, to uh, a new love or something because maybe they're not talking to you, okay? But the magician tells me that you have all the tools that you need in order to succeed in this. So I do feel like you're going to overcome this, especially with the, all these high cards, first of all. The Ace of Swords and the Magician, it's like you're going to, you've been manifesting this too. It's like you've been working so hard, you're so focused on this. It's like you have all high cards, so you are not falling down, even if you go, and then the Ten, ten of Cups on the bottom. You're not falling for nothing. This is going to bring long-term happiness, long-term stability, but if something needs to end first. Okay, I do see that. I don't know what this is. It could be a relationship that you're holding on to. It could be a job that you're holding on to in fear of not being able to get, you know, something so, like, uh, stable. But whatever you're waiting on is, like, about to bring you good news.
Ten of Cups, again, I just showed you the Ten of Cups that was on the bottom of the deck and now it just popped out, okay? This is telling me you're searching for happiness. This is going to bring long-term abundance, happiness, emotional emotional fulfillment, okay? This is like happy. Maybe you'll be able to meet somebody or maybe you're doing this with somebody like in a family. Um, but this is like you might be um, doing something with your kids. I don't know what this is. The only reason why I said this is because there's kids on the bottom, you know what I mean? So like I feel like this might um, help you and your kids, okay, um, to be able to get something better. Maybe this is the reason why you're doing all this. It's like, because you know you and your kids deserve better. And I just saw the Nine of Pentacles and it just popped out again. I was looking at the bottom of the deck. I didn't show you guys. And then you have the Nine of Cups. Wishes are about to be granted. Anyway, an ending again. And an ending again. Nines are endings. Not just tens. Tens are also new beginnings. One plus zero equals one. You know what I mean? So, boom. Anyway, the Nine of Pentacles is here. You guys are, like, fine with whatever that you guys are doing. You're taking the steps that you need to take in order to get to where you need to be. And you know that. And you know what's going to bring you happiness. I think you're just worried a little bit of not getting what you want. But if you don't get what you want, it might be because there's something better out there. So if something fails, I do see good news coming in for you. But it doesn't mean good news in every single part of your life. It's like it's about a specific thing. I don't know what it is, you know, for you guys. Obviously, I'm just reading cards, so... Um, but I feel like this new thing is going to bring you lots of happiness, lots of joy, lots of abundance. Yeah, love. You might meet your soulmate. You might be doing this with your soulmate. You might meet your twin flame. Something like this. But it's going to bring you lots of happiness, lots of love. Okay, so this uh, move that you're doing may cause you to uh, meet your uh, soulmate. So if you're moving, because I feel like you're moving. If you're moving, I feel like you will. Meet your soulmate. And then you have you from above get the big picture. So always take your dreams and like time to buy a billion zillion. Okay? Make your dreams huge. So that way, you know what I mean? You get it. Alright? <laughs> we only, we create our own reality. So aim big. Okay? Valiant courage. Take action with passion. So whatever you're doing, make sure you're putting your love and your passion and you're all into it. Because if you don't, it's not going to be something that lasts. Okay? You want to do something that you love. And I feel like whatever you're doing here is going to bring that, especially with the lover's card, okay? Then you have in the bottom of the deck is narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully, okay? So it might be a couple things that you want to make sure of before you go ahead and do this, all right? I feel like you um, might be walking a thin road, obviously, a narrow pathway. That's what it says. But I'm just saying um, maybe that's just telling you that there might be, you know what I mean, not much room for error. Okay, so like before you jump, make sure you got your parachute. Okay, so before you move, make sure you have everything planned up. Before you um, switch your jobs, make sure you have another job lined up. Stuff like that. Okay, then you have come to the edge. Yeah, so it's like asking you to and then go the distance. These are basically the same thing. It's like you're almost at the finish line. Like I told you, there is an ending. This cheetah is almost at the finish line. All he has to do is get a little bit further. He's right there. He'll make it to the ending. They just want you to take this step. Come to the edge. The universe will catch you if you fall, okay? Always. And then you have building blocks. You are building, you are taking these blocks and building them for a new foundation for your future. So, like I said, with the narrow pathway and the building blocks, I feel like this is just saying make sure everything is built good. That way it doesn't crumble, okay? And don't stray off your path. If you know that you're going the right direction, keep on going that direction. So that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. I don't know if I said this already, but this is for Taurus. Um, so, yeah. Toodles, guys. Have a good day. Thank you.